Copyright-free and royalty-free music are a couple of terms that you've probably heard floating around. While these terms can be a little difficult to grasp, they're incredibly important to know for any filmmaker or content creator that plans to use music in their videos. Hey guys, I'm Chris from Soundstripe, and today I wanted to answer five common questions that every filmmaker should know when it comes to music licensing. First, let's talk about what exactly is royalty-free and copyright-free music. Royalty-free music and copyright-free music doesn't actually exist. Well, sort of. Now, hold on, before you keyboard warriors go to town, give me a chance to explain. The term royalty-free implies that you won't be responsible for paying royalties to the song creators when you license music or media. However, when you license through a royalty-free media company, that company is responsible and in nearly every case does pay royalties to the song's creators. Copyright-free music is basically a unicorn, meaning it's really hard to find copyright-free tracks. Almost every track out there has some sort of copyright, even music with Creative Commons license. When you license a song properly, you're not only protecting yourself from copyright infringement, but also from having to pay royalties to that song's creator. So yes, while there are such things as royalty-free and copyright-free music, it's extremely rare to find. All right, so now let's go ahead and dive into some of these really common questions around music licensing. Number one, can you use royalty-free music in commercial content? The short answer is yes. Whether you need music for monetizing your YouTube videos, corporate video ads, uh, film projects, etc., you can use royalty-free music as long as you license that music properly and as long as that license covers commercial use. Each royalty-free music company works differently, so it's important to be aware of the terms and conditions before you sign up. Number two, is instrumental music public domain? One common misconception is that instrumental music is public domain and therefore doesn't need to be licensed. While there are instrumental tracks that are public domain, most songs are owned by copyright holders, which includes royalty-free music companies. This means that to use royalty-free instrumentals in your commercial project, you still need to secure licensing rights. Question number three, do you have to pay for royalty-free and copyright-free music? While free might be in the name, royalty-free and copyright-free music isn't actually free. However, like I mentioned earlier, when you pay to license this type of music, you're cutting out the costs of paying royalties and excess licensing fees. Those fees are instead covered by the company you purchased the license from. Question number four, what types of free music sources should I steer clear of? You're probably gonna see something out there about two other supposedly free sources of music, public domain and creative content. Comments. The term public domain is used to describe music that has no copyright and is essentially free for anyone to use. Public domain music would be music published before 1923 or any music specifically released by the creator as public domain. Question number five. Is there a difference between copyright-free and royalty-free music? Yes, there is! I'm so glad you asked! <laughs> Although I threw both terms together, I do want to make a clear distinction that copyright-free has no copyright and royalty-free means it does have a copyright. And question number six, where can you get music for your videos? So companies like Soundstripe offer music that can be licensed in any of your video content. That means your YouTube channel, any of your social medias, commercial content, short and feature films, anything you can think of. While there are options out there for royalty-free or copyright-free music from public domain or creative commons, the effort that you'd have to put into getting good quality music from those places isn't really worth it, especially when compared to places like Soundstripe where you can get high quality curated music that you can use in any of your content. You should also also think twice about Creative Commons music. The idea behind Creative Commons licenses is great. However, Creative Commons licenses almost always require attribution and they often come with murky terms and agreements. In short, it's almost always better to license music from high quality stock music sites like Soundstripe. Having a better understanding of music licensing ensures that you'll play it safe when it comes to licensing music for your videos. When in doubt, it's better to avoid Creative Commons and public domain and go with a music licensing company like Soundstripe to get your royalty-free music. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more content like this. And if you found it confusing, leave us a comment and ask us any questions you have. We'll be happy to answer them in the comments.